हेलो एंड वेलकम टू चाणक्य आई एस अकेडमी स्कीम टूडेज टॉपिक इन दिस इज लाइट हाउस प्रोजेक्ट टूडेज कॉन्टेंट इन दिस टॉपिक विल बी वाई दिस टॉपिक इज इन न्यूज देन वेर दिस लाइट हाउस प्रोजेक्ट आर गोइंग टू सेटअप देन अंडर विच मिनिस्ट्री दिस स्कीम इज देयर देन की फीचर ऑफ दिस स्कीम बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस स्कीम एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजीज और स्टेट ऑफ आर्ट यूज इन दिस स्कीम एंड कॉस्ट सो लेट सी वन बाय वन सो रिसेंटली प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी लेट द फाउंडेशन ऑफ सिक्स लाइट हाउस प्रोजेक्ट एज पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लोबल हाउसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी चैलेंज इंडिया इनिशिएटिव इन एब्रीवेशन वी से दैट जी एच टी सी इंडिया so he announced the winners he also announced the winners under affordable sustainable housing accelerators india that is asha india and gave away annual awards for excellence in implementation of pradhan mantri awas yojana urban mission so what is this global housing technology challenge india initiative so launched in 2019 the challenge is undertaken the pradhan mantri awas yojana urban GHTC aims to fast track the construction of affordable housing and meet the target of constructing 2 crore houses by 2022. This also focuses on identifying and mainstreaming proven demonstrable technologies for light house projects and spotting potential future technologies for incubation and acceleration support through ASHA that is Affordable Sustainable Housing Accelerators India. where this scheme is going to be implemented so this light house projects are to be implemented in agartala that is tripura rachi lucknow indore rajkot and chennai under the global housing technology challenge so this comes under the ministry of housing and urban affairs this ministry also publishes the national city rating which rank the cleanest cities in india under which indore was rated as the cleanest city this ministry also announced smart cities in india on 27th august 2015 so key features of this scheme is under this scheme the people are provided sustainable housing considering the local climate and ecology under the project cheap and strong houses are built using special techniques the beam columns and panels of the houses are to be prepared from factories and brought to the place of construction the entire carpet area of this project will be in 34.50 square meters under this 14 story towers will be built and total of 1040 flats are to be built each flat will be 415 square feet so what are the benefits of this scheme so the main advantage of the project is that the duration and cost of construction is reduced then houses built under the lighthouse project will be completely earthquake resistant then durable and environmentally friendly due to the use of prefabricated materials so advanced technologies used under the project is the house being built in indore will not have brick and mortar walls but a prefabricated sandwich panel system will be used in it and monolithic concrete is to be used in the houses to be built in rajkot this technology is from france which will give momentum and new one will be able to withstand more disaster canada technology is being used in a house built in lucknow which will have walls already made there is no need to plaster and paint these walls the technology of steel frames is to be used in agartala this technology has been sourced from new zealand in chennai finland's and america's precast concrete system will be used and in rachi 3d construction system of germany is to be used to construct houses total cost of house is rupees 12.59 lakh out of this rupees 7.83 lakh will be provided by the central government and state government the rest of 4.76 lakh rupees will have to be paid by the beneficiaries that's all for today's thank you and see you in the next topic don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update